Hello beautiful humans, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tessa Stewart. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back beautiful. <laughs> so in today's video, I will be doing a review of the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. Let me just start with a disclaimer. I have purchased the Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer three separate times. So the very first time I purchased it was back in 2019. I got the holiday edition back then. It was like gray and red. I will insert a clip if I can find it because I did start a review. I wasn't impressed back then. It came with different attachments, a thicker concentrator no nozzle, a more wider one, and then it came with a more precise one and it came with a diffuser. So the very first time that I purchased this machine, I did not like it and I took it back. The second time that I purchased the machine was because I uploaded my Dyson Corral hair straightener review, which is this here. After I uploaded that, people kept requesting for the Dyson Supersonic. That purchase was the beginning of 2020. I tested it out. I recorded a review. I did not like it and so I did not uh, put it out into the atmosphere. So now there is a newer version, which is this one here. I picked up this one a couple months ago and I have been using it since because I wanna give you girls a really informed decision. So my opinion on this dryer has changed. So I'm gonna go over what its claims to fame are, okay? So what you need to know, the small powerful Dyson Digital Monitor V9 combined with air multiplier technology produces a high pressure, high velocity jet of controlled air for fast drying and precision styling. Unlike some others, the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer measures hair temperature over 40 times a second and regulates the heat. This prevents extreme heat damage to help protect your hair's shine. Okay. <laughs> Engineered for different hair types, after rigorously testing different hair types in our laboratories, Dyson has engineered a range of attachments designed to style different types of hair. It comes with five attachments. Previously, it only came with three, actually. So there's two new attachments that I noticed in this particular one in, um, in comparison to the original one that I bought. So we have a flyaway attachment that hides flyaways under longer hair for a smooth, shiny finish, a styling concentrator with a wider and thinner design for precision styling, a diffuser which helps reduce frizz and create defined curls and waves, a gentle air attachment which has fast yet gentle styling for fine hair and sensitive scalps, and then the wide tooth comb which helps shape and lengthen curly and textured hair as it dries. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and start. So I have my hair sectioned off into, I guess, Bantu knots. So basically to make this uh, tutorial go <laughs> a lot faster for me and smoother for me when editing, I pre-sectioned out all of my blow dry sections. Normally I just divide it into four quadrants and then just section as I go. But when it comes to editing, it's a no-go for that. So <laughs> I am going to start in the back here. So I have my dryer here, all right. Now, they have more attachments this time around. Um, so I'm gonna try the comb attachment first, and then I will move on to the um, smoother, okay? Or the concentrator novel, nozzle for smoothing. So I'm gonna set it to high speed, medium heat. All right, so I started this side of my hair. <laughs> Obviously, I'm keeping this plastic cap on so that this side doesn't dry out while I'm doing this. But this is my hair, so you can see the full texture before we start. And now I'm gonna go in with the comb attachment. You know what? This nozzle didn't do too bad, to be honest. I usually don't like comb attachments, but this comb attachment does it pretty well. So this is my hair completely finished this side. So I blow dried using the uh, comb attachment. I did not have the comb attachment with the first blow dry that I had. Honestly, this time around, I feel like 
they improved this or something because it, it feels a lot hotter than it used to. Yeah, I'm definitely getting different results. As you can see, my hair is smoother than it did with the air wrap. And that's just with the comb attachment. I normally don't use comb, comb attachments. I generally tend to not like them. I usually like to use my own paddle brush with the concentrator nozzle. So that's what I'm gonna do on this side just to give you guys, you know, a good comparison so you can see what, you know, how it works with maybe whichever method that you prefer, okay? So we're gonna move on to the next side now. All right guys, so for the next section, I'm gonna be using my paddle brush and the concentrator nozzle. So I'm gonna start in the back here. This is the first section right there. Already a noticeable difference. Like it's definitely, definitely a little smoother and straighter. And I can tell on this side that my ends are starting to frizz up a little bit. So we'll just keep on going and see how it goes from there. All right, guys, I just wanted to include a texture shot. This is filmed May 7th of 2021. This was the first review that I filmed. And I just wanted to show you what it was looking like in the back of my hair when I was uh, blow drying in the back. It blow dried well with the paddle brush. As you can see, it initially got smooth. I'll discuss the results later. I'm completely finished blow drying my hair. So this side is using the comb attachment and this side is with the concentrator nozzle and my paddle brush. And I don't know if you can tell um, from the video, but I can definitely tell this side that I used with the concentrator nozzle and the paddle brush is just a little bit more straight, a little bit more elongated, if you can see. And then this side here is just a little bit more frizzy, um, a little bit more puffy and it's definitely kind of like shorter looking. <laughs> so I kind of look like I'm like a little lopsided, but it's just, those are the two different effects from the different attachments, okay? So now they have a new attachment that was not available when I initially bought the My Dyson, and that is this one here. And this is supposed to smooth away flyaways. And your girl has some, I don't know how well you can see them, the short pieces up in here. This summer was the summer of braids and faux locks for me. <laughs> and girl, they did a number on my hair. I generally don't wear like protective styles or whatever you want to call them. I just wear my hair, you know what I'm saying? Girl, I can tell there was a little damage. I'm gonna try this attachment out and just let you know how I feel about it. Honestly, because I go in with a flat iron, I don't see the need for this for me, but I just want to test it out just cause, okay? <laughs> Okay, do you see that? Do you see like the difference there? Now, obviously it didn't get all of my strays or flyaways to lay down completely, but what it did do was get my hair to lay flatter on the top. So that's a good thing actually. So have you ever wrapped your hair around at night and then the next morning, depending on which way you, you wrapped it around, the side that was pushed to the opposite direction? Have you ever had it like puffy at the roots or like lifted at the roots a little bit? I think this attachment will fix that. I go through that a lot. And what I do is I will put a clip and just like put it here to kind of like force my root to lay down a little bit. You would just be able to use this and by it being a blow dryer attachment, I don't think it would disrupt your already flat ironed hair. And the, the device itself is pretty safe technology wise from what I'm reading, okay? So let's not count this out. This actually might be a decent attachment. So I am finished. Now I am going to flat iron my hair so you can see what it looks like once your final look is completed. And then I will give you my final thoughts. All right guys, so I have flat ironed my hair really quickly. Um, it's puffy. I like to start out the first day with a lot of body because once I wrap it around, it will flatten out. So I'm going to test out this, this attachment. I'm gonna see if it'll lay my hair flatter on either side. So I already started on this side and you can kind of see. <laughs> I'm gonna try it on this side. It definitely flattens out your hair. I don't know how I feel about it.
Okay, so if you use it after you've fl flat ironed your hair, your hair may um, lose some of its like curl or bump under or whatever. All right guys, so I am back. I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on the Dyson Supersonic. So as you can see, I have flat ironed my hair as well. And I did flat iron with the Dyson uh, Corral. I showed you how that flyaway attachment worked. I use it, I have gone on about my day. This is later on in the day. I wrapped my hair around while I uh, did some housework. <laughs> now you can see what my hair is looking like after it's been flat iron. My thoughts on the Dyson Supersonic. <sighs> it's a little complicated. Here's why. I have tried this Supersonic blow dryer three times. I used it. I didn't like it. I used it for about almost two months and I returned it back to Nordstrom. I did not see the hype. My hair didn't get smooth. It was a lot more puffy. So my main complaint was that, yes, you would blow dry your hair straight, but my hair would not stay straight. That's the first thing. After that, I uploaded my Dyson Corral review and people requested the Dyson Supersonic. So I purchased the item again because I wanted to give the review because it was requested. Now that time I held on to it. I filmed the review. I wasn't pleased with the review so I didn't upload it. And I also wasn't fully sold on the Dyson. Now both times that I purchased the Dyson, it came with different attachments. It came with two different size concentrator nozzles and a diffuser. Fast forward to two months ago, I decided, you know what? I need to give these girls a review on the Dyson Supersonic because I've uploaded the air wrap and everyone's asking and I'm clearly using it in the video to do the comparison. So let me just do the video. But by that time, I had sold the second one that I bought. Now I have the new one and now I have had this one for about two months, okay? I'm telling you all of that to say that they have changed this device, okay? This device performs differently than the original two that I bought. I'm not sure if they've improved on the technology. And if you're not aware, last year, when I was trying to get the air wrap, you couldn't get any Dyson products. It was almost like they sold out. It was very hard to get your hands on it. They had waiting lists that you email lists that you could put your name on. You couldn't get it in a store. I think that they were taking them and reconfiguring and then repackaging and putting them out and then replacing the attachments and putting new attachments in the boxes or something. They were doing something because now they all come with five attachments and these attachments are not the ones that originally came with the original Supersonic. So that's number one. Number two, like I said, when I went to use this particular machine, it is better, okay? So it gets my hair a lot more smooth. Previously, when I would blow dry my hair, by the end of the day, my hair would start puffing up. I chalked it up to the fact that Dyson is about preserving your hair from heat damage, so it's not using as much heat, so your hair is not staying as smooth. It's depending on the airflow, and the airflow alone for my texture hair cannot keep my hair straight. It has to have the heat. Now, this version of it I have used, and it lasts now. It also feels hotter on the medium heat setting. The previous one I owned, I could hold the blow dryer to my face right to my face and it would not burn me. This one now, if I do that same test, it's too hot and I have to move it away. So that tells me that they've improved the heating technology of this machine. And because of that, now it keeps my hair straighter throughout the day and my hairstyle lasts longer with all of that being said and i know it was a mouthful but i want to give you girls an informed decision okay i'm not a big youtuber that's just out here promoting stuff just for the sake of promoting stuff i work in banking i believe you should spend your money wisely so that's what i promote so for me i believe that this new version is way better and I do recommend it, okay? So if this would have been the previous two Dysons that I used and owned, I was gonna tell you girls no, because clearly I let those go and got rid of them. This particular one, I like it. I do believe it's claims. I have used it on the highest heat setting and the highest airflow just to test it out to see if it would get my hair smoother, which it did, and it did not damage my hair. I washed my hair, my curls reverted, 
immediately with no problem. So if you are looking for a blow dryer and you're interested in this one because you are trying to preserve your hair from heat damage, I give it two thumbs up. I recommend this over the Dyson Airwrap if you are considering that, okay? Especially if you want smooth hair, okay? The Dyson Supersonic is gonna be the way to go if you are not completely sold because of the price. It's $3.99. That is a pretty penny for a hair dryer, right? And a lot of people don't wanna to have to save to buy their hair <laughs> to buy their hair tools. I completely understand. There are some alternatives that I do recommend that I have personally used that have not damaged my hair. That is the Babyless Carrera. There's the Babyless, there's another Babyless. I will list them all in the description box below. I'll link them down there. And also I have recently purchased the T3 uh, Airbrush Duo, which is a great alternative to the Airwrap and I have a review coming up on that soon. With that being said, Said, that is today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that it was helpful and informative. So if you liked today's video and you want to see more like this from me in the future, as well as makeup tutorials, vlogs, and hauls, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you are alerted with all of my future uploads, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!